In this video, we're going to take the box we designed in Fusion 360 and prepare it for the laser cutter. We've already created an export DXF component, which is a projected sketch of all of these four bodies, five bodies. Let's uncheck the visibility and check the visibility in our projected sketch. Once we have what we like, let's drop down the browser, find our sketch, right click, and then save as DXF. Save this to a place where you know you're going to find it later. Once you've saved your projected sketch, we're going to go over to Illustrator. Let's create a new document in Illustrator. The laser cutter that I'm using is 24 inches wide by 12 inches in height, and it's an RGB color mode. Most laser cutters need to read RGB. Make sure that you change a CMYK red is not the same as an RGB red. Once you've selected your basic settings, hit OK. To start off our document, we're going to find our file by going place, find the DXF file, and hit place again. We'll use the original size. If we go back to Fusion, we notice that our document settings are in millimeters. In Adobe Illustrator, we need to make sure that one unit equals one millimeter, or else our scaling will be off. I'm going to hit OK, and my object is placed. The nice thing about the DXF is that it's separate objects. So just because I'm laser cutting, I'm going to separate these in Illustrator and provide a little space. That way the laser doesn't run over the same edge twice. Select your whole object, every single piece, hold shift and click your fill. We need to select any color to fill it. Once we do, we can hold shift again and go over to our stroke menu. Hit the drop down to make sure it's an RGB. This enables us to use colors. For a cut, we're going to use 255 on the red. Our stroke size is going to be 0 0.001. And I'm going to go back to the fill now and hit the no fill. Right now, I could bring this right to the laser cutter and it would cut my box out. What I'd like to do is add a little text. So I'll add something in the bottom. I'm going to align this and I'll take this and make sure the outline is blue. This will be a vector engraver on my part. Again, I need to make sure that stroke is very tiny. It's hard to see, but when I select that, there's still a blue around it. The black is going to be rastered. If it's a full black 000, it's going to come out very dark. So I'm going to hold shift, click my fill, and I'm going to lighten it on this end. This enables me to not burn through the top veneer of the plywood that I'm using. So I just want to make sure that I can control that in Illustrator. Of course, we could control this in the laser cutting software, depending on what laser cutter we're using. From here, I'll hold shift, click that box, and I'm going to hit object group and now these are one entity and I can place it neatly back to its original position. Again here is a nice time to align your objects so that when you laser cut them you don't double up your curve. I've now completed my design and this is ready to go to the laser cutter. I will save this and once I've saved it, I can print to the laser cutter.